we are a retired couple who sold everything and bought a boat with the intention of living the dream in our 30 years. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's the start of winter. And that means it's the start of the Necro series uh, for yacht racing, cruiser yachts here in the Tees Bay. About 22 vessels taking part today, and uh, oops, caught them leading the lock. Have a good sail, guys. So we're just working now where the fridge goes uh, and this is the old insulation behind or around the casing for uh, the in-counter type fridge and I've pulled it off and it's absolutely sweating behind it. It's a, a closed foam type uh, insulation um, and it's it's foam and then it's got polystyrene over the top but behind it is just it was wet through absolutely sopping because uh, it can't breathe uh, so what we're going to have to do is dig all that out and make a mess uh, and then let it just breathe in air for, for a while to uh, um, dry itself out before I can do anything else really but hey, that's built in life. But it just shows what closed foam type insulation does. You you can't see what's what it's doing behind it. I'm not quite sure whether this will show up, but I've just pulled that off as one piece from the back wall or from the whole side, and that is absolutely. I don't know if you can see it in my gloves, but it's absolutely sopping is that. And it's just sweating. And that came from just there. There's still a little bit of the green attached at that side, but all that back wall, that's now open. So at least that can breathe and it can dry itself. So, hi, um, oh, again, winter cool damp um carrying on working in the galley section just trying to make it so we can get the fridge in a position where it'll be secure and we're ready then to start rebuilding so today what i want to do is just put a backing board up um i'll get that so it can go up uh we want to paint out all that section uh, so it's uh, nicely painted uh, and then once the paint's dry we can fit the board and I can start fitting the fridge in into more of a permanent position. There we are, that will uh, fit nicely in there. Doesn't have to be a perfect fit, that's just to provide a little bit of backing and close that space off. It gives us a, an area at the back that uh, we can use. Uh, I'll deconstruct some other bits that we've taken out just to make the uh, um, framing to push back to. Oh, it's a case of waste not want not. I've got some nice uh, one inch square bits that I can reuse. Just want to take the old rusty nails out. And uh, this will be good to put a base line down and 
screw the plywood to the bottom and I've got some bits that will go up the sides as well. Uh -huh. Today it's uh, back on the galley day. Um, I've got the doors off in the galley. It have been debating what do we do? How do we redo this galley? And in the end, we've sort of thought, well, let's, as a first instance, start with using the original doors. Um, but rather than being all wood and different types of wood and looking a little bit messy, um, we're going to uh, uh, paint the lighter areas. Then what we're going to do is sand it all, try and lighten up the mahogany a little bit. Uh, and that's not a hand sanding job. So we'll get down to, as uh, Matt's from Sail Life would say, oh, glorious sanding. So I'm just knocking down the backside at the moment just to clean that up. This isn't as critical and I'm using a, an 80 grit just to knock it down and get it down there. Um, we'll do the same all around the edges. Uh, so yeah. The mess is actually coming because this sander is what I used on sanding the bottom of Ava. So it's also got remnants of blue antifoul uh, all over. When I picked it up, we had antifoul dust everywhere, which was not very nice. So we've got a before and after. This has had a sand with uh, both um, an 80 grit and then a 120 grit. Um, and boy, what a difference. In fact, I've got a feeling this edge is actually teak. I didn't think it was. I thought it was mahogany, but I think it's been stained to look like mahogany. All right, so while we're uh, we're making changes in the on the galley, we are trying to preserve what what there is. One of the things I want to do is change this drawer, which is only a stupid little short drawer. Uh, but I want this frontage off. Um, don't know how it's on, but my guess is nailed on. It's nailed on. So, looks like it is. It's just going to be a case of trying to tease it down, I think. It's been battered, but I think it will clean up okay. I don't know what they've battered it with. by that I mean not battered like you batter fish it's just been bashed about We're away. Whew. That's going to take some cleaning up. Got a little bit of damage on this end. I've just gone in a bit too too much on this end, but we can fix that. All right. That one's got a bin. So, um, starting to put stuff back together. First of all, these are the, I've got all the doors uh, off the galley uh, from Baru. We're on Ava at the moment. Um, first of all, I'm going to give it a squirt with sugar soap. So, I've got to go around them all. Uh, this 
takes away any greases, dust, uh, nicotine. Uh, we don't smoke, but you know. Uh, I've moved on to Ava uh, mainly because, uh, well, so we've given Baru a really good clean inside to get rid of all the dust from the sanding. Um, it's still dust in the air. Uh, um, what uh, I don't want is dust into the painted area. Um, Morning. So what we're going to do with these is this is going to be in a dove grey so it's a very light grey and the edges with the dark wood uh, that's going to be revarnished and that's going to be done in a satin and this will be a satin so we're trying to lighten up the interior uh, of Baru. All of the masking, we're going to use a product called Frog Tape. Um, this is uh, a tape with a product called Paint Block. I have used it before and it is pretty good. It's expensive. Uh, so this is to be used wherever we don't want any paint bleed. Normal masking tape, um, can, you can get bleed up the edges and in fact I, I did try some and it didn't work we got bleed up and it made a mess so I've had to re-sand some uh, so we're going to try this see how it goes and the paint we're using is a Rust-Oleum product uh, it's a furniture paint um, quite gloopy um, I've found uh, certainly what in the test pot so again, we'll see how this goes. So, cold day today. It snowed a bit overnight. It's cold and frosty. Not ideal, really, for painting, but I uh, need to crack on. Uh, I'm going to give second coats today. This time, I'm using a furry roller, one of these tiger stripe ones. Um, let's see what difference uh, finish we get with that. Uh, I've actually had the paint indoors, so it's warmed up a little bit. Um, so, off we go. So, open this new tin. Did everything yesterday on one of those um, match pots uh, sized uh, tins, which was pretty good. Uh, but we bought a f uh, half a litre because uh, we've got to, well, I need a second coat. Uh, but also, we've got a lot more to do in the boat itself so that's got a texture on now um, see whether we like it or not uh, the intention is let's get another coat of paint on and then we'll see whether we need to do a sand off now there is a school of thought um, do you go traditional on a boat and keep it, or keep it traditional when you're doing work on the interior? And therefore, it should all be wood. Um, or do you modernise it a little bit on a on an older boat? I mean, don't forget this Baru is nearly forty year old. In fact, I think she is forty year old. Um, and back then. The tradition was for for wood and we've decided we're going to go halfway house i would be in, interested in hearing your comments so please do leave your comments down below uh, while i'm doing this if you are new to our channel 
please do go ahead and subscribe it doesn't cost you anything it is free uh, don't forget click the bell icon that will remind you when we put a new video out and help us move up the algorithm in YouTube by giving us a big thumbs up so that's now dried uh, the surface looks good it's got a nice satin sheen um, it's got a very slight texture but actually it seems to work so let's have a look and see how the frog tape has done if I can get into it it's been on a couple of days so I'm hoping it still pairs away without any residue well, it's certainly peeling away and that first peel has come away nice and it's a nice clean edge so yeah that's quite that looks quite good so what we have to do is we're going to do a satin varnish on the outer frame 